Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the two newest releases from Francesca Bianchi, Tiger Tiger and Sticky Fingers, plus um, my first experience with the Sublime Oils. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mai Day. I review fragrances and products. I love all things that smell good. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click the little notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload every Monday or Wednesday at 4. Let's start off with Sticky Fingers. Sticky Fingers is a dark patchouli, dirty patchouli, dark smoky leather, almost this like burnt tire opening. Um, it, 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 it's for patchouli lovers. Like you have to like that very dirty patchouli. It's, there's nothing like sweet and pretty about this. It's, it's rough. <laughs> it's a rough patchouli. Um, the dry down softens up a whole lot. The sandalwood comes through a lot more. Like this vanilla quality comes through a lot more. Um, and yeah, if you want a very dark and dirty patchouli, then um, Sticky Fingers is a good one to check out. Is it the most unique fragrance I've smelled? No, it's not. It's not my favorite from her collection, but I do love Francesca Bianchi. You guys know I have quite a bit of them. I have, obviously, I love them very much, <laughs> but Sticky Fingers, I'm still on the fence about whether I would add it. Actually, the answer is no, I would not add it to my collection because I did find another patchouli that I like even more. Um, that is Histories de Parfums 1740. This is the um, Marquis de Sade. Oh, this is a gorgeous, dark and dirty patchouli, you guys. There is patchouli, coriander, bergamot, divana, uh, cystus, ladinum, leather, vanilla, immortal. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's a lot more interesting to me. So, um, is Sticky Fingers, you know, it's a nice fragrance, um, but not my favorite from her collection. It's, but if you, if you are a patchouli lover, this is definitely, uh, on the top of my list for like patchoulis, definitely, um, because it is a gorgeous dark, dark patchouli, dirty patchouli, very dirty. Um, the castorium in here is fuzzy, you know, it's not like super musky and animalic. It's more like tangy, um, more so than it is like super musky, if that makes any sense at all. I never know if I make any sense. The full note breakdown is patchouli, tobacco, orris, leather, sandalwood, tonka bean, castorium, cinnamon, heliotrope, musk, and coriander. The tobacco is more of a pipe tobacco to me. So yeah, is it a nice patchouli? It is. It's nothing groundbreaking. So um, I would not purchase a full bottle of that one. Next up is Tiger Tiger. And obviously I got a whole bottle. I actually blind bought this um, just based on the notes and the style of perfume. It is a fruity, woody sheep. I love sheeps. I, I wasn't worried. <laughs> I love Francesca Bianchi. Um, I love her work and I just knew that she would knock it out of the ballpark with this one. This one's white flowers, honey, the syrupy, peach. There's like peach jam. Um, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Um, if you like very sweet perfumes, sweet floral perfumes, then you may really, really love this. It's so unique and just pretty. It's just pretty. It's, it's different than her other perfumes in the sense that it's not as like dense and heavy as the other ones are. I don't actually believe there's any Oris butter in here, which is kind of her signature. Let me see. Okay, the full note breakdown is narcotic flowers, honey, peach, jam, patchouli, sandalwood, oak moss, oud, leather, and heliotropin. So that's probably why it doesn't have that like rich buttery quality that her other perfumes have. It's still a Francesca Bianchi because it's very potent. It's an extra de parfum, just like her other ones. But um, yeah, I'm loving the um, new cap, which has the FB on it. The other ones do not have it. But yeah, same, you know, label. Actually, a little bit different because it doesn't have the lines around. I'm not sure if she's changing that up. But yeah, beautiful perfume. If you like sweet white florals, um, that are a little bit on the heavy side, very syrupy. 
yeah it's definitely not for the faint of heart if you like soft perfumes this is not going to be a soft perfume but i absolutely love it love it love it i recommend tiger tiger all day every day i also wanted to mention that i finally tried her sublime oils um i got under my skin obviously to go with my under my skin because i love under my skin wow you guys this is so beautiful it's under my skin just a little bit more tame it doesn't have that animalic quality but it's so beautiful i love it i love rubbing myself down in this well you can use it in your hair um by itself layered if you layer it obviously it's like a atomic bomb it's a dry oil so it's not going to leave you you know like an oil slick it absorbs pretty quickly it's long lasting it i think it's brilliant to be honest so i want to also get dark side the sublime oil if anybody has tried the dark side sublime oil let me know in the comments i would like to know what you think of it um i'm hesitant to like i'm blind by it just because they are a little bit pricey um and i probably won't ever go through all of this but i am curious i wasn't a huge fan of the perfume um it was very sweet and yeah it just it, it wasn't my favorite so i don't know but maybe the sublime oil is nice let me know if you've tried her sublime oils and which is your favorite down in the comments thank you guys so much for watching I, as always i hope this was helpful if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and click the little notification bell so you can be notified anytime i upload a new video have a great one you guys Mwah.